Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free All right, guys, so I'm going to talk you through a few tips. A few tips if you're just starting the game or if you're new to Fallout, uh, any of the Fallout games. Uh, Fallout 4 is here, and now these are some basic tips for beginners. Okay, if you guys are experienced at the game, there may be a couple of things that you'll pick up, but I'm not. I'm, this is really not targeted at you. So if you're a very, very experienced player, this is probably not for you. But for the beginners, this will help you. I, I hope it will help you. At least that's my intention anyway. Okay, the first tip I've got for you, um, is to, uh, well, maybe maybe it's a harsh thing to say, but it's to get rid of anyone you like around you, okay? <laughs> Buy your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your wife, your husband, your partner uh, an unexpected gift, a massive bunch of flowers. Enroll them in an evening class or something. Uh, just you need to get rid of them because you are going to be spending a huge amount of time on this game uh, it is a game that will just suck your suck your time away all for good good reasons yeah it's it's fantastic um, but the main the main point here is you're going to be spending a lot of time exploring um, but make sure you do explore uh, this game will tap you tap your curiosity to the max uh, it's a game of going off on, in tangents yeah you'll be headed to one destination you will be intending to go to one destination and as you're walking around the map something else will catch your eye and you'll go there instead uh, it's just one of those games it's such an open world but it's it just it makes you uh, want to just find new things every time you come across something new your your eye is caught you want to go oh hang on a minute let's just spend some time having a look at what that is so really the the, the tip here is just to explore and enjoy this massive beautiful open world and uh, it's a great game for for doing that okay so trust me you will need the time to do it so get rid of whoever you like <laughs> all right the uh, the second tip I have for you um, is to make sure you loot everything okay you you at the beginning anyway certainly at the beginning loot as much stuff as you can get your hands on um, you're gonna come across loads of stuff you think you don't know what it is a tin can a clock uh, a table fan um, anything that you see pick it up everything has a purpose in this world everything has a, a salvageable quality to it you can break things down in the workshop back at a base you'll find out about that as you go uh, into component parts that will allow you to upgrade other parts of your loadout your arsenal your guns your armor whatever it may be um, you, you know you are going to need to grab everything you can including the meat and the, the skin off dead animals just grab it take it back trust me you're going to need it later on okay so loot everything now of course the tip the third tip here is uh, fast traveling you, you do have uh, a limited amount of, of carry weight okay so once you've once you've picked up all the stuff I've just told you in the last tip and loot everything you're gonna need to go get rid of it you're gonna need to clean it out once in a while so use the fast travel before you're over encumbered uh, use the fast travel to get back to base so look if you are over encumbered you have a companion with you You start off with the dog um, so loot, you can load him up with your stuff uh, when you talk to him there's an option to uh, transfer some of your stuff onto him now continue to do so they do have a carry limit uh, each of your companions so far that I found have a carry limit um, but you can do that if you if you offload stuff to them and then fast travel go back to your base go back to whether it's the red rocket station at the beginning which you probably uh, is the first place you'll find or the sanctuary which is the second place that you're likely to find go back and transfer all that stuff back into your workshop uh, and then go back again you can do that in the middle of a mission as well so trust me um, you're going to need all this stuff later so please do that yeah make sure you use com your companions weight and you use the fast travel fast travel is absolutely key and it means you can go back to a place you've just been as long as you've discovered that location of course you'll know if you've discovered it because it's on your map and it's uh, highlighted in thick green uh, icons okay next up your companions now you start the game by default almost by default with dog meat dog meat is your dog of course uh, it's an unfortunate name for the damn thing you actually need dog meat to survive it's a bit rude um, however I would really swap out dog meat early on as soon as you can for Codsworth as soon as you can use Codsworth as a companion 
take him because he is just so much better in a fight. He's got a, a saw blade attached to an arm. Dogmeat's cool and he'll hold up an enemy for you and that's great. However, Codsworth at the beginning is the, by far the most useful of the two companions. You'll find other companions as you go. You'll find more and they'll be more useful and you'll try them out. By then you'll be accomplished at the game and it won't bother you so much. Uh, but Codsworth, seriously, at the beginning, pick him over dog meat. Um, unless you're just a dog lover, and I understand that, that's, too, that's cool. <laughs> but I really, really would go for Codsworth. Alright, the next tip I have for you is about what special stats to pick. What special perks, I should say, to, uh, to take at the beginning. Um, well, the first one I would definitely put some points into is your strength, um, simply because it allows you to carry more, and of course your melee attack should be that much better. Um, the next one I reckon is get a decent amount of charisma points, four, maybe five. Certainly at the beginning, you're going to want to persuade people. You can basically lie in this game and persuade people mid-conversation to do something or to go with a certain option. Um, and it, it basically also helps you when you're buying and selling stuff, trading items uh, with, with traders. Um, the, the next one, I think, just these ones at the beginning, of course, add points into all the others as well, but these are the three I would maybe concentrate on if you're new, is luck. And there's one main reason for that, um, is that uh, the, as you put four points into luck, it immediately unlocks this guy. This guy you'll be able to pick from, from the word go uh, when you get your first level. In VATS, um, he will just appear and critically damage somebody you're taking on. Um, and I would say Mysterious Stranger is one of my favourite perks. Um, it, right, the next two I reckon you should throw points in once you start leveling up uh, is your intelligence, simply because um, it affects the number, of, the amount of XP you get, so it basically makes this whole process that much faster anyway. But also you'll un unlock the gun nut, um, hacker, and scrapper, and these three together are things that I think you should really go for. Scrapper, you're going to need uh, certain bits and pieces when you want to cr craft items, craft weapons at your workshops, and uh, scrapper will allow you to get some of those items just from dismantling other stuff. Uh, Hacker and um, the other one I'll tell you about in a second. It's really annoying when you walk into somewhere and you find the terminal, you have not high enough level to be able to hack it and you've got to remember somehow to go back there. So get um, a few high points in that if you can early on just simply because it allows you to actually hack. I've actually put a hacking tutorial on, on my channel so have a look at that, that'll help, help, help you with your hacking. And a gun nut of course it will allow you to um, unlock um, better upgrades. So that's why I reckon you should go, throw some points into intelligence as you keep going. And also perception, simply because same goes for the hacking, the locksmith. Um, picking locks, if you come across something you're just low, too low level to be able to even start picking, well it's a real shame. So those are the, the stats I would recommend that you throw your points into early on. Okay, the next up is a little bit of an explanation to your health bar, okay? You've noticed that it will be turning red, slightly from the right-hand side and moving towards the left, um, but you also have the green bar from the left-hand side. Now, in this version of Fallout, your radiation poisoning actually reduces your overall health. It didn't used to do that, that's something a bit new. Um, but the best advice I can have to you at the beginning is don't go into water. You will get take some radiation poisoning for doing so. The next piece of advice I would give you is do not eat any old random piece of food that you have. Any aid, things like uh, you know sugar puffs. Basically, look at the uh, numbers of rads it will give you. If it gives you any at all, don't eat them. Um, collect meat off any dead animals that you kill or find, and make sure you go to a cooking station. Um, like this one here and you cook some food cook the food that you've got cook the meat because it will remove that radiation poisoning uh, don't forget you can drink purified water as well and of course the stim packs which will replenish your health and they're all rad free but be very very mindful that if you eat poisoned food your radiation will increase therefore your health will decrease it's really really important all right, next up is a uh, tip about saving. Yeah, you have the option to quick save, and I can't tell you how many times I have forgotten to do this, which is why I'm including this here, is quick save as often as you can, of course, but remember especially before you're about to go to a new area, you've, you might have marched a long way across the wasteland and found somewhere and you're about to go in. There could be something in there that's gonna kill you, okay? You will die a fair amount in this game, but you will save yourself a lot of time retrying and walking back to that area if you save just before you go into that new area and start exploring. 
equally also save just after you've finished a fight or even in the middle of a, a long drawn out battle you've you've achieved something you've killed that one guy that you couldn't get for a while save it then as well the quick save option is very very useful and I don't think there's any limitation on using it whatsoever um, so make sure you quick save as often as you can but especially at those points before and after a uh, an area or before and after a particular fight that you've had with something trust me okay so early on in the game it's very very easy to forget that you can use melee weapons okay you're obsessed with getting guns and ammo and that's cool um, but to save some of that ammo and I really recommend it is you use uh, melee weapons to start with most of these animals aren't or the most of these beasts whatever you want to call them aren't that difficult to kill with melee weapons whether it's a tyrone a baseball bat or, or whatever just if you have a melee weapon use it as early on save yourself some ammo uh, for when you really really need it because you will find in points that you really really need it okay next up is a bit of a, a bit of an odd one but there are a couple of things that i found were easy to overlook i mean you're looking at the screen most of the time but there are peripheral vision problems with some of us and so I, what i would recommend is is you just make sure you keep a check on that you can level up okay you'll go you'll get a prompt on the screen and that's cool but if you go into your your pit boy you'll see at the bottom right hand side that you have just leveled up so make sure you go and do that i know that's really really obvious i'm not trying to say it isn't but i missed it a couple of times and i had like i had about two or three levels up and i'm like oh my god i could have wasted uh, i wasted a load of time there and i could have actually made it useful in the battle i was just in just just okay it's just a small tip um the other is the critical meter when you're in vats and you're uh slow down slowing down time and you're aiming for headshots and that um for the right kind of animal of course um, don't don't forget the critical meter bar will fill up and you will have the chance of hitting a critical shot within VATS just remember it's there the button is at the bottom of the screen to use it and it will tell you when you can use it and trust me it gets you out of a huge amount of difficult situations if you remember it's there and you remember to keep an eye on it when it's about to fill up you will find it useful so just a couple of things I found easy to overlook while I was playing the game at the beginning Okay, uh, next up, um, you can pick up weapons, as you know, in the game, and I told you to loot everything earlier on, but you can also pick up weapons uh, that you don't need anymore. Okay, if, you, if you've already got this kind of variant of weapon and you, you don't, you're just fed up of picking up 10 mil pistols or, or pipe pistols, pick them up anyway, but throw them down afterwards. The reason is you will get a load of ammo for doing it. Um, just pick it up, put it, down, put it back down again. That's fine, but you've just gained yourself a whole magazine's worth of ammo when this ammo is short and hard to come by at the beginning just do it anyway it's worth it okay next up um, is look okay this is obvious a little I think is obvious but study the crafting tables it, there are so many of them you got your weapon table your armor table you got your chemistry station you got your cooking station just go and look at them all and find out what you can build the reason I'm saying that is because there are things that you might not know you can do, um, but you would just be wise while you're working around, while you're walking around the world, collecting stuff to know what it is you find valuable. If there's a particular thing you're after, um, then you can actually highlight it, um, and it will put a little magnifying glass on any items that you discover in the world, um, because you you wanted to find that thing. You can basically say, right, search for this object. You come across that object and it's got a li little magnifying glass right next to it. Um, you know you need to pick that up because that's what you wanted when you were back at base and you were trying to build something. So just, just have a look at the crafting table, see what there is, the options. Just explore that part of it as well. The game is way more than just exploring the world and killing stuff. Uh, there is building, crafting, and it's, it's, it's really quite a big part of this particular Fallout game. Okay, uh, next up, the, the mods that you carry around, right? Occasionally, you, you'll, you'll be filtering through your, um, your inventory, and one of the tabs shows mods. Okay, and mods are things, obviously, that you can add and apply to weapons and armor. Um, but they, they look like these little boxes, and you think, okay, well, I have to have those things because otherwise I won't be able to upgrade my weapons or armor. And, and that's wrong. You, you don't need to actually keep them on you. If you put them in your workbench, store them in your workbench, when you want to apply a mod to a weapon, and you can, you can reuse mods, as, uh, I think, as many times as you like, um, but you don't need to carry them with you. And they are quite heavy. I mean, at, at one point, I found I had like 10 mods on me, and they were all worth a half a weight each. So I was ended up carrying five pounds of weight that I just did, need, did not need to carry with me. You don't need to carry them with you. 
you don't need them on you for those mods to work on your guns so store them away at your workbench uh, or sell them if you've got more than one of them um, but but you don't need them just just get rid of them okay um, next up is uh, a tip about a certain type of creature some of the other creatures it's easier you're going for headshots most of the time chest if it's somebody with power armor I found that to be pretty cool but this one is all about shooting ghouls ghouls shoot them in the legs okay they, they are fast runners and uh, sometimes they're a little more powerful than you're expecting them to be but you shoot them in the legs take the legs out they become crawlers you can then pull out a melee weapon and just bash them on the head you save yourself some ammo by doing so and and I've found so far it's quite easy to target the legs because they aren't moving as fast and if you miss one leg you hit the other that kind of thing but trust me shoot the ghouls in the leg let them crawl then smack them on the head with a melee weapon it, it just saves you some ammo and it's a far quicker way of taking those guys out if you're swamped of course and swarmed well good luck um, okay next up is uh, fusion cores if you're using your power armor um, fusion cores will uh, drain they drain especially fast if you're running um, or if you're using a heavy attack uh, with a melee weapon um, but they oh, by the way they won't drain fast if you fast travel that doesn't happen it's, it, it's fine you can fusion cores are uh, not draining when you fast travel but uh, of course running and, and heavy attacks do that so um, make sure once you've drained them you got rid of them sell them they will sell for about or equal to the same amount of uh, price at a traders than a full one would so you you've got no need for them anymore but they will still sell for a very high amount of traders so just get rid of them sell them to those guys uh, and you're laughing you've got a whole load of caps for doing that and you, you can't use them anyway so get rid of them uh, okay next up is um, when you're first building your base up at Sanctuary uh, make sure you build a water purifier you, you need to build this thing you can find it in the menus um, if you go take it down to the river stick it in the water it has to be in the water and you'll need to power it up of course now you, you can see a cut loads there's loads of videos about how to power stuff up but basically you need a power source you need copper for the wires to connect uh, the power source to your item and in this case it's a water purifier you can do that pretty pretty uh, pretty easily at the beginning and it will la the, the, look the reason I'm doing this is because you also need to build a scavenging station um, but the water purifier will allow you and the scavenging station dudes to collect a load of stuff while you're out busy killing things on on the wasteland this these things will build up and build up over time the scavenging station as long as you assign a, uh, a settler to it by the way that's really important you can't just have one you need to assign a settler to it the water purifier you don't need to um, but while you're away doing these things your inventory will build up with very useful either usable or sellable items now the water purifier is really really cool because you'll get obviously pure purified water which you can drink to replenish health but after a while you're gonna have enough of that stuff or other ways of upgrading your health or, or replenishing your health and you won't need this uh, you can be gone for a couple of game days and you can have 20 of these things waiting for you now they're worth quite a lot of money so these things the water especially go and sell it to a trader and you've got yourself an instant whole load of caps that you didn't need to work for at all somebody else did all that for you uh, so it's really worth putting that at one of your bases certainly at sanctuary uh, when you come back there you go it's almost like free money so uh, there you go all right now another one here is you can use uh, your clothing your attire for the right situation now I've got to hand back uh, well, I've got to come and talk to this lady because I've just finished one of her missions um, and the apparel um, if you notice there are certain aspects to it certain uh, perks to it now uh, where is the one I'm after this one here this intelligence if I if I put this one on it increases my intelligence levels by one and when you're handing over a mission or you're going in for a reward basically you're completing a mission you'll earn a tiny bit more XP um, for doing so so it's it's well worth doing this Here also works with Here's your, your uh, charisma I'm so don't forget you can also add this to your charisma points okay so let's say you were in a conversation um, and you had to persuade somebody to do a certain thing then I would immediately uh, before before you know you need to talk to them to persuade them because I don't think you can do it mid-conversation 
is uh, put on something that adds points to your charisma and that can include a whole outfit it can be a hat and glasses so look around for things that will increase your charisma not only do you uh, manage to persuade people a hell of a lot better but you will also look pretty damn cool in your fine suit wow those glasses really do look stupid but it works so try that out yeah um, wear the right sort of clothing for the right kind of action that's all I'll give you there Alright guys, so that is it for the tips for today. Now, there are so many other things I could tell you and I don't want to uh, spoil any more of the story. I don't think I've spoiled anything and I'm, I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, but there are so many other things that I could say. And I have said in other videos that I will put a card link for you. It should appear right now uh, above the screen. And uh, click on that. It will take you to a couple of other videos that will help you out. Guys, thank you so much. And really, I really do hope this helps you if you're just starting out in the game. Um, just a few pointers and for those of you who have been playing it for a long time uh, I know you know most of this already but if you have, have learnt anything that would be really cool if you let me know thank you so much for watching thank you and uh, I really do wish you the best of luck with this amazing game I think it's incredible uh, I'll see you soon, take care thanks so much guys and good night Turn